Hi everybody, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Today I really wanted to do a DIY video. I'm in a very big DIY mood. I have been wanting to create some hats for a while. Um, not create, but like just kind of like DIY personalized. I saw at a festival these girls getting their hats embroidered and I was like, oh, I want an embroidered hat. And then I thought, well, I can just embroider a hat, so let's do it. So today we're gonna be putting some star embroidery, some personalization details. Whew. Just got real sunny, which I'm stoked about, I'm not complaining. So yes, today we are going to be doing a little bit of DIY um, hat stuff. Let's just hop right into it, shall we? So the first thing that you're going to need is some thread. I got mine at Michael's, but I've decided to use this gold color because my hat is going to be brown and I thought that that would look best. So take into consideration what color your hat is. You're also gonna need some needles. I ended up getting the 18, 20, and 22 little set, but uh, I think I ended up using the 18 needle. Uh, then you're gonna need a pair of scissors and of course you're going to need your hat. If you guys like this hat? I got this at Target, it was really affordable. I wanted to do this DIY on an affordable hat. I really actually love this hat. I've been wearing it so much. I highly, highly recommend. So to get started, you are going to take some of your thread and you're gonna wanna uh, just fish it through the end of your needle like so. Um, and then I didn't really know how much I was gonna need to do one star, so I just like got a bunch and then cut it off. And then um, we're just gonna secure it by putting um, a knot in the end of it. You could do two knots if you'd like. I'm really so happy that you guys are watching this DIY because it looks so amazing, but it's so easy to do. And I feel like a lot of people might think it's not that easy to do, but it is. <laughs> so here's what the star is going to look like. I wanted to be able to show you guys one before we kind of ran into it. So this is basically what we are going to be creating with the one little bit of thread that we've, uh, we've, we've put on our needle. So you should have your needle looking like this and you're gonna wanna start by going underneath the inside of your hat. So our first little pull through should go from the inside out. So use your finger, this is gonna be the best method, and sort of like poke through, you'll be able to sort of feel your finger, and that's how you're gonna know where your needle's gonna come through. If you pop through and you're not in the right spot, it's, it's honestly fine, just pop it back out and, and, and try again. I obviously made so many mistakes doing this. But to create the star, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is create one line, and you do that by sort of going up in a straight line from where you came out the first time and going back in. Um, depending on what your hat is made of, it might be a little tough to get it back through, so that's where your little thimble will come in handy. Um, it'll be easy to press it back through, but you should have your first line just, you know, looking like a line, like that. The first step to creating your star is you wanna create a huge plus sign. That's that's basically the, what we're trying to accomplish, and you'll see right here, it's a big plus sign. Keep in mind, every time you come out, the next step is to go in. Every time you go in, the next step is to go out. The next step here is you're gonna create another little plus sign, but you're gonna do this one sort of on a little bit of an angle, um, and you wanna kind of crisscross it so that you sort of get that starburst effect. Like, like I said, just use your finger, and sort of that's how you'll feel where the needle is gonna go through through um, but yeah look at how good this looks I I'm so excited about this I was a little worried when I started to do it I was like will I wear this hat yes I will wear this hat once you're done creating your star um, you basically just want to tie a knot just so that um, your embroidery doesn't come loose I ended up tying a knot like I think I did like two or three little knots in the back and you want to make sure that your knot is as close to your hat as possible because you really don't want the embroidery to move so just use your other hand and, and make sure that you guide that knot as close to the hat as possible and then you can just sort of cut off any excess um, so I'm going ahead and just doing another little star to show you guys you can do your placement as you want really it, it's, it's up to you I love doing little I did like three in the back side and I thought that looked really cute I didn't want to go too overboard but look at how look at how amazing it looks I'm so so happy about it um, and then I wanted to do this like little bit of personalization so using that same pull through method I ended up just putting my initials on the back of the hat and I thought that was so cute um, so I just did TL which is uh, my first and my middle name and I thought that looked so cute so again it was the same method it would be harder to do it with um, rounded letters but you could just square off the letters and do the same thing and then on the other side of the hat I decided we would do two little starbursts instead of three keep it a little bit like asymmetrical that always looks best in my personal opinion so I added two on the other side
So here's how the hat turned out. We have our two stars in the little front side area. And then in the back, we have the little stars here. And then of course, my little initials as well. I love the way this hat turned out. I think that it looks so cute. I love that it's not symmetrical either. Please let me know if you guys would like to see some more little hat DIYs because I have a few other ideas of things I would love to create. Other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!